Hey everyone, Josh here with Fresh Start Customs, and today we're going to be talking about the benefits of having an enclosed laser versus an open laser, uh, such as the D1, for example. In particular, in this video, I'm going to be talking about the S1. That's what I have. Really like the unit so far. Um, I'm trying to get more time on this uh, away from my other job in order to actually test it even more. I do have a lot of future videos coming up on this, but um, as far as the actual enclosure goes, the benefits of that is you're going to uh, collect all the dust inside the unit. As you can see, this unit does attract a lot of dust for the, the enclosure itself, but that's a good thing because you're not actually breathing it in. Um, <laughs> you just gotta wipe it down more often. Um, that was the one thing that in my review video I didn't like is how much dust this, still, this one shows. But overall, this is a great unit. I really enjoy this unit, and this is probably the safest unit that I've ever seen. And the reason why is this little thing right up here. We'll talk about this in just a second here. I just want to get out of the way all the extra benefits of having an enclosed unit as well. So the other thing that you want to keep in mind is there are materials that you can cut that you may not know is toxic, but it is toxic. Um, it produces gas. If you um, cut an unknown material such as vinyl, like those vinyl records, you see people want to cut those all the time, do not cut a vinyl record. That'll put off like um, chlorine gas and different types of gas that could harm both you and your laser. Um, the benefit of having an enclosure is it at least helps prevent that gas getting to you by venting it straight out the window, but it could still damage your unit. So you always want to do a copper test if you don't know what a copper test is, it's basically you use a copper wire, you heat it up, make sure there's no plastic on it, you touch that copper water, wire to your material, and then the material melt on the copper wire itself. You use a blowtorch again a second time. If the flame turns out to be green, that means it's toxic. Do not cut that whatsoever. If it turns out to be orange, I would still consult with the manufacturer just to be safe and make sure there's no chemical gases being released from that. Um, but other than that, if it's orange, you should be good to go. If you want to see a whole video on that, I've done a whole video on that as well in the past. So just check that out um, and be safe. Uh, we always want you to be safe. And like I said, this is the safest unit in particular because of this little thing here. I went ahead and unhooked everything and uh, basically made it new out of the box again. I'll show you guys an unboxing of this here in just a second towards the end of the video. But this is the fire safety uh, kit. Uh, what this is, is there's a button on the front. You can manually push this button. It'll release CO2 gas all throughout your machine, um, basically suffocating the flame and putting it out. Um, and then once the flame is out, uh, you can stop, uh, this unit will stop doing it once it doesn't detect a flame anymore. Um, this will also auto detect small flames, so it'll start beeping. Uh, real slowly whenever it detects a small flame and then if it goes to a large flame It'll automatically release that gas for you and flood the system put that fire out. So this is a super cool unit um, Basically, I'm gonna squeeze this here and then the whole unit pops off CO2 cartridges go right inside here. Let me grab one of those so you can see what it looks like It's a little intimidating because this is probably one of the largest uh, CO2 cartridges I've ever seen you just put those in there, screw them into place, put the unit back together um, like this. You just pop it back on here and then you can plug it all in with the, the hose, the power cord and the USB cord and then you're good to go. So this is a really cool unit. It also has like a status light and then a light to tell you when to replace the CO2 cartridges if you end up using that pretty often. Um, so just a heads up on that, this is probably one of the coolest extra features I've ever seen on a machine. I've never seen that automatic uh, extinguisher on any machine I've owned. They may be on the really high units that I don't have, but this uh, for an entry level one in your house, that's super cool. One other thing I do want to mention with that is if, when you go to put the hose on, uh, the small rubber part's going to go in the back of this unit here. And then you have a special um, little uh, nozzle here. Hopefully you can see that on camera, kind of guessing where you can see that at. But there's a little nozzle. This nozzle is um, made specifically for the back of the machine. That way you don't put this in your actual air hose unit. Um, it's physically impossible. That's why they made it a different size. So just a heads up on that, keep an eye out for that if you're gonna be installing this. 
Um, but yeah, overall, uh, I do recommend getting an enclosed unit over uh, an open one for one other reason too. Those open ones, you see just a little tiny like orange shield right where it's cutting. And then if you're like standing kind of far away, you can still see that beam and that beam is gonna damage your eyes if you look at that directly. Never look at a beam directly. Um, you always have the shield on. In this case, this entire green section is a shield here for your eyes. So you don't need actual like um, special, special like goggles or lenses. Do not look at that beam ever with, uh, with uh, directly. I just don't do that. That's gonna damage your eyes in the future. Um, the nice thing about this is when you're using the unit and you lift the lid, the uh, machine will never work whenever the lid is on. There's two little magnetic sensors in here. Uh, so as soon as you put the lid down, you can see these little magnetic pads here. Those are gonna trigger the machine, letting it know it's safe to cut. And then um, your eyes are gonna be protected. So this is gonna be one of the safest things that you can get out there. I do really recommend it. Um, if you do want like a late, uh, like a, a camera though, this unit does not have a camera, but uh, in my opinion, this unit is more accurate than any other machine that I've seen for the fact that it doesn't have a camera and it uses either two point or um, five point alignment, all the way up to five point alignment. I'm gonna be doing that in a future video too. So if you haven't seen the update on this, check that out in a future video, it's super cool. Um, but if you do want a camera and you're more of a visual person, I would recommend getting the P2 laser as well. So I'm gonna throw out all the information about the trade-in, the S1, the P2, all in the information down below. Um, I'll go ahead and show you guys a real quick unboxing of this little um, safety uh, fire extinguisher kit here, just because they packaged it really well. X-Tool is always on point. I, I'm just gonna show you the packaging really quick. It's less than a minute long. Um, but yeah, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll catch you guys in the next one. All right, you guys, so as you can see, X-Tool did send me this fire safety set here to show you guys for this enclosure video. Um, we're going to blow through this uh, unboxing here just to show you how well packaged this is. Um, and then we're going to jump into the rest of the video again. Um, pretty much all we're going to do is lift the lid up here after you open the tape. And just like all of X-Tool's products, you got a nice little pamphlet here. It does have like photos of how to put it together, etc. Just like all of their units. So that's really nice. And then the thing I'm most impressed with is right underneath. Look how well packaged this is. This is amazing. You have the actual unit itself here. You have your CO2 cartridges here. Um, I know that can be a little bit intimidating. These are very large and they kind of screw into place, it looks like. They also have like a little warning sticker. Um, I would assume this is the power supply here and then the extra cables and air assist hose or the hose that shoots the uh, gas into the machine. Um, and then they do have the little nozzle and hose right here as well. And then this right here is just going to be the power cord and the unit itself. Um, I'm not going to bug you and pull this out one by one, but I did want to show you guys how well this is packaged. 